And it's Ken Kratzer at West Point. I have a chance to talk with one of the Navy women basketball players who defeated West Point today, and that is Hannah Finsky. And Hannah, first uh, great game for you. You were making points inside. Just tell us about the game. Um, it was just a really good win for our team. We had a lot of contribution, especially from our bench. Our bench really sparked us today. And, of course, Taylor played great. So having that senior leadership really uh, propelled us to the victory today. Well, I, I saw a feature about you that uh, you have a very particular, a very interesting uh, opportunity in the Navy uh, to uh, branch to submarines and uh, something, a new opportunity for women. Um, tell us a little bit about why you decided to go for submarines. Um, I think the biggest reason was just the atmosphere and the quality of person that's on a sub. Um, there's really a big family atmosphere, and family is like one of the most important things to me. So ultimately, that like kind of drew me to it, and uh, it's just a great opportunity for me and my future. Very good. I guess you've uh, taken a couple of uh, cruises on submarines. Uh, what might that have been like? Um, yeah, I took one over uh, in between my sophomore and junior year, and it was a really good experience. Like, everyone was super helpful, um, really excited to kind of, like, teach us about subs. So just that energy and that um, effort that they put in every day kind of just really drew me to it. Very good. I'll tell you, if you would, where you're from and uh, why you decided to go to the U.S. Naval Academy. Uh, yeah, I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I think ultimately I decided to go to the Naval Academy just because of the opportunity it brought. Um, it's once in a lifetime. You really, uh, not a lot of people get the opportunity to do it. Uh, overall, like, it gives me a great uh, opportunity in my future. Very good. And tell us a little bit about uh, your academic side. I Operations research is my major, so it's like a math major. I really enjoy it. Uh, it really is just something that I think will help me in my future as well. Very good. And a question we ask uh, all of the athletes up here at West Point and the Navy athletes when we have the opportunity is how you learn time management to uh, do uh, your play Division One sports, to study a tough major, and do all the military requirements at Annapolis. How did you learn time management to do all these things? Uh, yeah, definitely started my freshman year when they threw a lot at us uh, right to start. Um, I think it was just ultimately finding a priority list and just determining what you need to do ultimately to be successful. So that was both on and off the court and just being able to get everything uh, accomplished within the time that you were given. Very good. Uh, you know, I have an aunt who was a U.S. Navy uh, officer from World War II into the Vietnam era, and she'd be so proud of the opportunity that you're pursuing. When you talk to some of the Navy veterans, women who have served in the past in the Navy, uh, what do they say about the opportunity for you to go serve on submarines? Uh, yeah, I think they just uh, would say take advantage of it just because, like you said, the opportunity hasn't always been there for females and serve well and just uh, really do a good job to ulti ultimately represent all of those who are um, behind, behind me as well. Well, Hannah, congratulations on your win today and best wishes on your future in the United States Navy from all of us at the American Legion. Thank you. Good to see you. It's Ken Kratzer at West Point for Sons of the American Legion Radio.